All right, so you are a newly licensed skydiver? Congrats! And now you're thinking about avoiding all those rental gear fees and buy your own gear? Well, let me give you five tips to buying your own skydiving gear. Hey there, this is Catherine Bernier from Skydive Vibes, sharing the passion of skydiving and helping you become a better skydiver. So if you're new here, consider subscribing not to miss our weekly videos. All right, so before diving into the five tips, let's talk about should you buy your equipment used or new? That's a question that every new skydivers are asking themselves. And the best answer for is, or the best advice would be, you should check used equipment at first. The reason is you're most likely will keep that equipment for your first hundred jumps and then you'll start looking at another set of equipment, maybe newer, more performing and so on. So this is why we recommend you to go used. First, it will cost you less, so you'll have more money to spend on your jumps and, your, uh, and developing your skills. The other thing is that you're most likely will be downsizing or changing the type of equipment as you're discovering new discipline or as you're improving your skills. So that first equipment is most likely not to be uh, the one that you'll be jumping 100 jumps from now. So you might think, what? I'm gonna jump out of a perfectly good airplane with used equipment? Actually, yes, it's the best route to go for first. And do not worry, those equipment, even though they are used, they are still really, really safe. And it's actually a common thing amongst uh, the skydiving world where people are jumping used equipment to reduce the cost because going the new route can become very costly very fast. So now, it still is safe to jump used gear if you know what to look for. So let's dive into the five tips that will describe everything you need to know to be safe and choose the right equipment for you. So in a skydiving rig like this one, there are four main elements. The reserve canopy, the main canopy, the automatic activation device or AAD, and the container. First, how to buy a used reserve parachute. Well, you need to get comfortable with that idea. Picking up a re used reserve canopy in spotless shape will help you save a lot of cash. And most of the riggers out there agree that it's not worth it to buy a new reserve canopy up front. Of course, you want a damage-free reserve with no patches, please, and with less than about 10 jumps. Less than five jumps is even better. And like they say, if your reserve parachute is old enough to vote, it's too old to jump. Second, how to choose a used main canopy. Look for a main that has as few jumps as you can afford. The thing is the value of a canopy will decrease uh, with the number of jumps it has. But keep in mind that the older it is and the more jump it has on it, the fabric of the canopy is most likely to be more porous. And so you can expect harder landings with an older canopy. Next, it can be tricky, but it's your best move to choose a canopy that has its original line set. The reason is, even if those sellers are trustable, they don't always are aware of the real number of jump on the canopy they are selling. So a rigger by inspecting the lines can have a pretty good idea on how many jumps the canopy has. So that's why you would like to have a canopy with its original line set. Then find out where your canopy used to live. If it was on a seasonal drop zone, landing always on the grass, it's most likely to be in better shape than an all year round drop zone and in the desert. It's because the sand is abrasive and so a canopy that is always landing on that surface will present more signs of wear. And the same thing applies for the beach drop zones because again you still have that sand that have an impact but also the seawater can have sneaky impacts on the canopy. Finally be picky and make sure to find a non-damaged canopy or one that has been very very well repaired and make sure a rigger inspect it before you buy it. And for those two canopies you want to make sure you sit down with a coach or a rigger and discuss about the best size for your experience and your skills because you don't want to end up spending money on a canopy that you won't be allowed to jump on your drop zone. It did happen to me. 
Third, how to buy a used container. The first advice I can give you is not try to buy it first. The reason is the container is depending on the size of the canopies you will put in it. So you want to make sure you chose your reserve canopy and your main canopy before buying the container. Then have a rigor measure your body. Don't try to do it by yourself. It can be really tricky to really have the right measurement because there's different measurement for different aspect of the container. So make sure you have an expert to help you out. When you do find a potential container, make sure to get the serial numbers so that you can verify with the manufacturer the exact sizing, not only for your body, but for the canopies you want to put in it. If you have a very particular body type, it can be difficult to find a good used container. So for that, do not desperate. You can always ask a rigger to check what kind of modification would need to be done on the rig so that it can fit you after. Resizing a container is doable, but although it can bring some more cost to the table. So you might want to weigh the pros and cons of buying new whether used in that case, but keep in mind that it's doable. Fourth, how to buy a used AAD. Make sure that the AAD is meeting your basic requirement. You need to make sure that it's within its service life, that the maintenance has been done at the proper schedule and that it's compatible with your container, where the number one version of those isn't. Now, are you on a drop zone with a beach or a lake beside it? You need to consider that. Determine your timeline. So you need to consider that for an AAD, you're paying a yearly fee to make sure the maintenance is done on it. And one that has one year left is still as good as one that is brand new. So you can consider that and save a lot of money by choosing a device that still have a couple of years to go instead of going the new route. If you can afford it, buy it new. It's really easy to resell. So if you do have the money, it's not a bad choice. Five, some general advice to help you make a wiser decision. Keep your mind open. It's unlikely that you find the perfect container that fits all your requirements and that has the exact color you want. So keep your mind open from the beginning. Pay a rigger to do a pre-purchase inspection. So it's going to cost you about $25 and usually the sellers are pretty comfortable with that. They can send the, the equipment to your local rigger for them to review it. You'll then have a list of all the things they are seeing on the equipment so that you make a wiser decision. Trust your instincts. If you are recommended or have an opportunity to buy an equipment, but you still don't really dig it for whatever reason, well, do not purchase it. The thing is that you need to love your equipment to really love jumping with it. And so if you have some doubts at the beginning, this can affect your skydiving career. So make sure you really fall in love with your equipment because like we say, it's gonna become your baby. Final advice, always make sure to have a coach, an experienced skydiver or a rigger give you the best advice on your experience and type of skills to choose the best size of equipment and the best type of equipment, but also to verify that equipment before you buy it. It's like buying a used car. You don't want to end up paying for things afterwards. This way, you'll be satisfied, have the equipment you need, and have more money in your pockets to go jump every day. All right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video about the five tips to help you make a wise decision when buying a used equipment. And consider subscribing not to miss our weekly videos all about skydiving, where we do gear reviews, interviews, and tips and tricks videos just like this one. On that, keep jumping and blue skies.